What's up guys, Dave here from thegadgetbook.com. We've had our time to play around with iOS 8 for quite a while now, and today we're going to be here giving you our top 10 tips and tricks for your iOS 8 device. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. So starting off we've got text size. Now this is a great feature, it's located in the display and brightness section in your settings panel. So as you can see, you can decrease or increase your text size within the operating system. So another cool feature is that you can actually make your text bold. So it will restart your phone as soon as you toggle it on and give you a little confirmation and all you have to do is click continue. Now you can see just by the pop up, um, all the font in the actual system has turned to a bold font, which is quite nice and it gives it a different look. Next we've got Zoom. Now this is a built in magnifier for all applications in iOS. So if you're having a bit of trouble seeing any kind of text on your device, this is a great little feature that's built in right into the operating system. So it's under the accessibility tab, you can actually enable a controller there as well. And as you can see, you can just move it around and actually zoom into all your applications and whatnot. So next up we've got social rearrange. Now if you're in your photos application or something like that and you go into your sharings panel, you can see we've got all your icons there like so. Now you have the ability to move them around so you can actually choose your first button as Facebook or something like that. And you can also have the ability to enable and disable them. If you go ahead and scroll right to the end, you will be able to see a more tab. If you go ahead and click that, go ahead and choose whichever you want to disable via the toggles and then you're ready to go. So guys, the photo editor in iOS 8 has been enhanced. You can adjust the light by sliding the slider to find your right lighting. You can go ahead and adjust the color and fine tune your edits by adjusting the brightness, contrast, the exposure, highlights, shadows and more. You also get some cooler filters as well and then the ability to crop, which was found in iOS 7. So next up we're going to show you how to view the desktop site in Safari. All you got to do is touch the address bar and slide down and you'll press the desktop site if you're viewing on the mobile site. So if you don't like the mobile site and you want to have a change, this is how to do it. So something you might not expect is manual controls. iOS 8 is built in manual controls, however you only can control the exposure by sliding it up and down when you've locked focus in your camera application. So not that many people like the look of the keyboard in iOS 8. The actual grey bar is quite annoying in my personal opinion and today we're going to go ahead and show you how to remove it. We'll kind of hide it in such a way. So all you have to do is hold onto the middle little key and actually slide up and down and as you can see you can hide it and actually bring it back if you would like to but I don't have a reason why I would bring it back. So we're going to show you how to quickly send messages in iMessage and as you can see if you hold down the voice note and then swipe up you will be able to send a message. If you do the same to the camera icon you can actually take an image or you can actually record as you can see you can take a clip and then quickly send it in iMessage. It's kind of cool, kind of neat and we're definitely impressed. So next up we've got quick reply in your messages application. So now you have the ability to reply to your messages without exiting the application if you're browsing, playing a game or using an application or whatnot. Now as you can see all you have to do is slide down the notification, type your message, click send and you're ready to go. You do also have the ability to send voice notes as well in the application if you're using iMessage uh, but you don't have the ability to send photos as of now but that should be fixed with a future update. So unfortunately last on our list is camera timer. Now iOS has got a timer built right into the camera application within the operating system and as you can see it's located at the top right next to the swiggle for your front facing camera. Now as you can see you can go ahead and choose from a 10 second mode or a 3 second mode and you'll just get your timer as soon as you click the shutter. Now that's about it guys for this video, let us know what you think in the comment section and make sure you hit the subscribe button and as always we'll catch you in the next one.